Welcome back. In today's high-tech world of the internet, mobile phones, and satellite TV, you'd hardly think that we're in danger of being unable to communicate. Yet the art of language is under threat. Scientists have listed 426 languages around the world as nearly extinct. 59 of them are in Asia. And linguists blame modernization as the chief culprit in silencing these threatened tongues. Susan Yu traveled to northern Thailand to discover how some of the hill tribes are trying to preserve their dialects. In northern Thailand, tribal traditions rule. These indigenous Lizu villagers are having fun the old-fashioned way. Look closer, though, and you'll see it's not just local entertainment. It's also a matter of economics. <laughs> Thailand's tourism industry generates six billion U.S. dollars each year, and tribal culture is one magnet for tourist revenue. This Lizu village is designed to entertain large tour groups. The Lizu population in Thailand is about 20,000, and many consider themselves lucky. The Lizus have been able to profit from their culture and mother tongue by showcasing them to tourists. It's the, 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 yes, Aram yes. is a farmer. The 42-year-old shows us a Bible written in the Lizu dialect. It's testimony to the language's resilience in an ever-changing world. Then in, uh, in Sunday. On Sundays, what they class. learn? In Lizu. In Lizu, they, they have a class on Sundays. In Sunday for children. But a three hour drive from Chiang Mai, a sister language of Lizu is dying. This is a call for Buddhist prayers in Bandong, in the northern province of Pre. Village elders pay their respects in Mpi, an indigenous dialect discovered accidentally by an American Peace Corps volunteer in 1967. At the time, about 3,000 people spoke Mpi. Today, fewer than 100 are able to speak a language whose origins can be traced back 300 years to China. Few people uh, study this language. So I used to study For Thai linguists like Sitachai Siam, it's an alarming situation, especially when you consider the language has no script. We know that it will dead in the future. The parents didn't, uh, don't teach Umbi language to them. They speak Northern Thai. They speak Northern Thai to their children. And even in the school, some teacher here, I mean Thai teacher or Northern Thai teacher, uh, punish their student if they speak Umbi at school. Uh, they have to pay one bar for one word. Sitachai Siam sees this as a criminal footnote for a language that is struggling to survive. Five years ago, he decided to document MP as much as he could. Uh, at first, I used a tape recorder, and after that, I, I transcribed from the tape recorder to a, a phonetic transcription and write some, uh, some meaning of, of some word. Today, only one MP dictionary exists, compiled in the 1970s by an elderly villager and his wife. MP village elders say they're struggling to keep their language alive. Their first and foremost foe has long been modernization. But these days, they've discovered the future of their language has been caught up in politics. Some politicians in, in town, they come here and uh, tell the parents that why do you have to teach this old language to, the, to your, your, your children? No one speaks only this in this village, so don't teach, speak North, Northern Thai to them. On this day, Sitachai Siam visits the families he observed for five months in 1995. They are like a house divided. Nanut Duang Hom is 20 years old. She's adamant that her 20-month-old son, Am, will only learn and speak Thai. 
Nanut says it's to guarantee a better future for Am in mainstream Thai society. But Am's uncle, Yang Yut Sido, disagrees, saying he wishes for his nephew to learn and preserve his Mpi heritage. Ethnologue, a catalog of global languages, estimates 52 languages worldwide have one native speaker left. It's a frightful statistic, considering that languages encompass more than mere words and sounds, but moral and cultural codes. Have this part of Thai culture been lost forever because it's never been properly recorded? Yes, but who cares? You see, because the Thai government, uh, the policy, we have our own policy, assimilation to avoid conflicts like in our neighboring countries. But there's a war that's raging. It's against the sound of silence. The Intermountain People's Education and Culture in Thailand Association, or IMPACT, is a non-government organization. More than that, it's become the, the problem of uh, uh, identity crisis. In the mountainous Maiwan district outside of Chiang Mai, the sounds of a revival are easily heard. The children here sing the Thai national anthem religiously. In the classrooms, they learn Thai, but most importantly, Karin is taught with equal emphasis. Through songs and donated books, these youngsters learn to read and write Karin. Preserving a language just isn't about making sure it's spoken, written, and recorded. It's also about maintaining and reviving the old ways of village life. A monthly budget of 250 US dollars covers school meals and pays for three teachers. They provide tuition in traditional hill tribe handicraft and weaving, to even foraging for food. These are hands-on lessons of a traditional life that these days seem to be disappearing fast. But all this begs the question, how will the language and lessons of mountain life help these young Koreans survive in modern-day Thailand? Yes, they'll be able to survive and learn about their culture and roots. We teach them these things while not looking down on modernization. They need to know lots of things to survive and what's going on in the world. But they also need to know who they are. These school exercises may seem to be fun and recreational, but few of these youngsters can ever imagine that the future of their rich language and culture depends on taking their people's past to heart. Language is a way of life, so you, it is, it's come out with the, the different kinds of meanings. So, so language, it is very, very, very important to, to know the whole thing about the, the life of that communities. Your language die, you also die. And it's not just the Mpi language which is in danger of disappearing. Many linguists predict that half of the world's 6,000 languages will have vanished by the year 2050.